There is a clever woodworker named Ryan Feldhaus who came up with an invention that has changed my entire approach to glue ups. And is the main reason why I added these two T-track runs in the side of my big workbench. These are the clamp saddle jigs that he came up with to solve some of the problems he was encountering when doing glue ups. The first versions that he made were made out of MDF and they had a face plate that you could flip back and forth for bar clamps or pipe clamps. And now he's come up with an even better design and started 3D printing them. Glue ups are already stressful enough as it is. And there's nothing worse than getting everything all laid out and you put your glue on top of everything, you lay your boards down, getting ready to do the glue up, and then you have to shift one of your boards and your clamps fall over. So you quickly scramble to stand them all back up and then you get your boards all together and in this case you have to lift the pipe clamp up a bit, bring the backside in and then if any of your clamps aren't perfectly perpendicular with the boards, when you go to clamp it tight, the clamp will try and right itself and in doing that will cause your boards to shift out of alignment. And then once you've got it all clamped up, you may want to come and put some calls on the top and the bottom, but now you have a limited amount of space to put both the calls in and definitely try to put the clamp on. So you end up having to try and put some spare wood under your clamps to raise the project up high enough so that your calls and your clamps will fit in. And yes, a lot of manufacturers have tried to address that problem by adding some type of raising and stabilizing feet on the clamps. And that has definitely addressed some of the problems when doing glue ups. But even with that, as you're laying your boards on or putting the glue on or laying the boards down and moving them back and forth, you can still have the clamps shift a little bit out of parallel or back and forth so they're not in line. And when I've done really big glue ups and it's pretty heavy and I've tried to shift the boards, I've still had the clamps fall over on me and I've had to rush and put them back up. And so here's why I like these clamp saddle jigs so much. On the bottom side, there's an adjustable T-track stud, which I slide right into the T-track slot on my table. And then I can bring one of my boards over and align and then tighten down each of the jigs so they're in the ideal location. And if I want to make sure they're 100% square, I can even put a T-square along here, square them up and then tighten them down. And then on the opposite side of the table, I can come over here and align each one of these up with the one on that side of the table. Now, because I have all these dog holes in my table, I use those as reference to show me where I need to line those up. But if you didn't have those or you wanted to be really exact, you can grab your tape measure, measure that side where each one is, and then come over here and place the one on this side according to the measurements from the first side. And then that way you know that your clamps are all sitting perfectly level across the front, perfectly parallel to one another, and at 90 degrees to your workpiece to eliminate the shifting of the boards when you do the glue up. Now you'll see right here, there's two different shapes built into the top of the faceplate. The circular shape one is so that you can fit your pipe clamps in it. And the rectangular one is to fit your bar clamps. And now you can just load all your clamps in and they're nice and stable and not going anywhere. And then you can load your wood in, flip it all up, put your glue all on, and then make any adjustments you need to your wood and then slide the back of your clamps in place. Then you can put your top clamps on and then just tighten them all down. And then if you need to put calls on, you can now see that there's a whole lot of space. So you can just grab your top call, put it on, grab one of your clamps, hold the bottom call in place and put your clamps on. Now, another really cool thing that Ryan has done with these is he's made the face plate adjustable. You can loosen this knob right here and then the face plate will go up and down. And if you look right here, there's actually little measurement lines that help you with adjustments. And the reason this is so helpful is for times when you're working with epoxy, you know that you need to have your workpiece perfectly level or the epoxy will run out all over the place. But you may have a shop with an uneven floor, you may have a table that's uneven or sags in the middle, and you end up with this nightmare of trying to put in shims in a bunch of different spots to get things level. And then when you actually do the epoxy pour, you actually find that you didn't have it level and you're scrambling to try level things out as epoxy is pouring out all over the place. Now what you can do with these jigs is either go beforehand and use a level and level out the tops of all the jigs in reference to one another so that you know that they're all perfectly level. Or after you have the workpiece on, but before you pour the epoxy, you can go and use a level and check where everything is at and then make adjustments on any of the clamps that you need to to get things to sit perfectly level. And now due to the fact that I usually work on really large projects and I have a big work table, I picked up 10 of these jigs to fit all over my whole table, allowing me to do any size of glue up on this size of table. Now I've been using the original MDF version of these saddle clamp jigs for about a year and a half now, ever since I saw Ryan use them on one of his Instagram videos. And they've worked great for me and helped to reduce the stress during glue ups and increase the efficiency of my glue ups. So much so that when I went to build my new workbench, I designed it specifically to have those T-tracks 
to accommodate for these saddle clamp jigs. And now it's really cool to see that Ryan has now made some improvements to the design and is 3D printing them, which makes them more robust and longer lasting. And you can even get them printed in different colors to suit your preference.